The Matrix is a simulated world in which every detail is meticulously created to near perfection. The architect made sure that his simulations were convincing enough for all the humans to accept his illusion, but he was only able to convince 99% of them. His simulations always needed improvement. Frequent bugs and errors in the simulation led 1% to see the truth and reject the architect's creations. Today's video is about one of the 1%, a tale of a young woman whose cat runs away and leads her to the middle of a big matrix glitch. Did you know that the Matrix had programs in charge of cleaning imperfections in the simulation, leaving no evidence that the world is a virtual world? Have you heard of the Exterminators? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The exterminators are programs tasked with fixing and erasing errors, glitches, or evidence of the truth of the Matrix. They were first revealed in the Animatrix in the chapter titled Beyond. The story centers on a young woman named Yoko who loses her cat. Yoko lives in a place that looks like Japan, but of course it's not. She is just another human battery trapped inside a Matrix simulation, and she's about to discover the truth the hard way. In the town where she lived, there was a house that was said to be haunted, because things happened there that defy physics, like rainbows appearing above the house. I know, she's at the old haunted house. Hey look, there's a rainbow over there again. Yoko doesn't understand why her cat would go to that place. The cat never misbehaved before. It was always an indoor cat. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that a cat leads someone towards the truth. Deja vu. Apparently, Yoko's cat was being used to lure her to this place where the rules of reality were skewed. Here, time and space were broken. This section of the simulation was corrupted. Gravity wasn't working. And even animals that entered this place became corrupted by the faulty code. One small area of the house had rain falling constantly, while the other side was clear and sunny. The mystery of this place increases even more when Yoko found children playing there. These kids have been visiting this site for some time, playing and having fun with the glitches they found. The children were fascinated by the anomalies, often defying the laws of physics that normally govern reality. The kids were jumping from the roof, and instead of falling down and hurting themselves, they were floating in the air. Additionally, there were other notable errors that the children took advantage of for fun, such as areas where objects seemed to move at impossible speeds, or where time itself seemed to distort. Yoko watched in disbelief as they moved with familiarity, as if these anomalous phenomenon were part of their everyday playtime. The kids were having fun with every peculiarity. Some threw stones that remained suspended in mid-air, and others slid over surfaces that weren't slippery. All of this suggested that the area was deeply corrupted by a faulty code in the simulation. After arriving at this location, Yoko attracted the attention of the Matrix's security systems, which activated a cleanup protocol. Specialized programs were sent to the location to clean up the anomalies. These individuals were known as the Exterminators. They were programs created to isolate errors in the simulations and repair them. They also answered to the agent. Examine her, then let her go. Yes, sir. Interestingly, the agent also orders them to examine the humans. So the exterminators not only fixed or eliminate errors in the matrix, but they also study the effects of the errors in the environment and the humans who have interacted with said errors. Then a communication arrives within the matrix that shows the date of February 2003. This is a small yet important detail that helped us realize that Yoko's simulation is different from Neo's since his simulation had another year, 1999. The story concludes with Yoko returning to this place after the exterminators did their thing. The building was replaced, and the children were trying to play with the fun anomalies again. But everything was normal. No more floating, no more sliding, no more fun. Then Yoko pricks her finger and lets the blood drip to the floor. Her expression is that of a person questioning reality. We don't doubt that this event forced Yoko to wake up. Ignoring the date on the transmitted message, we believe that this story occurred in a simulation before Neo's. There are agents similar to Smith, but they are not the same nor are they the upgrade agents from the Matrix sequels. 
Yoko's story happens before Neo's, in the fourth or fifth simulation of the Matrix that was eventually reset, explaining the date regression to 1999 in Neo's simulation. It's possible that the exterminators were deleted from the Matrix because they were no longer useful. Their responsibilities or purpose were integrated into the agents of subsequent versions of the simulation, explaining why these programs have never been seen again outside this Animatrix short story. In the sixth simulation, Neo's simulation, agents find, stop, eliminate, and clean all errors in the simulation. Humans who saw said errors are brain wiped or, as a last resort, eliminated. So after Yoko's simulation, the agents were upgraded with the ability to purge the memories of humans who have witnessed failures in the Matrix, making them forget everything strange that they saw. We are sure of this because at the end of Yoko's story, she and the children remember everything that happened, which confirms that this was a simulation before Neo's. The agents were not yet permitted to erase the memories of humans. An interesting theory also comes from this story. Perhaps Yoko's story was just the beginning of her path as a red pill. Maybe she was one of Neo's predecessors. A good premise for a Matrix prequel, don't you think? Remember that the architect mentioned that Neo was just one more in a line of anomalies. Interesting. That was quicker than the others. And yet, decades later, no Matrix media exists that explores the stories of these five predecessors. Yoko's tale is just another one in a sea of Matrix stories without exploration or definitive conclusions. There is so much potential yet to be discovered. But do you agree? Did you know about the exterminators? What could have happened to them? Were they purged from the Matrix? Experience is something extraordinary. At our French restaurant Le Vray, we pay attention to every detail in our ingredients. Come and try our special dessert designed to satisfy all your senses. I wrote it myself. And our exquisite house special filet mignon. You would do anything for seconds. It's the best restaurant in Mega City. When you get hungry, you have no other choice. Visit us at Le Vray. It's a simple cause and effect. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.